Well, there's still a great deal of grief and anger here. Relatives are gathered near the courthouse where they heard the verdict they had been dreading. For a month, these families had been hoping that the death sentences against their loved ones would be lifted. Instead, today, the death sentences on almost 40 men have been confirmed. But the women gathered here still don't know the names on that list. They don't know which men, which husbands and fathers have now been condemned to hang. Many have told us that their relatives are completely innocent, that they had evidence that they were elsewhere at the time when the riots took place, but they say the court never heard that evidence. Some collapsed when they heard the verdict. Some women had to be carried away in shock. Now, there is a considerable security presence here. Riot police were brought in a short while ago. For the moment, they're staying in position behind these barricades. We also had a second verdict released this morning in the mass trial of almost 700 Muslim Brotherhood supporters. And the recommendation in that case was death for all. And that includes the Muslim Brotherhood's top leader, Mohammed Badia. Now, that case has been referred to Egypt's Grand Mufti for his ruling.